Well, welcome to the show. Riots, protests, and heated debates have continued to divide the nation, with cities torn apart by violence due to racial tensions after the death of George Floyd on May 25th. Many have been protesting across the nation every night and others sharing their stance on social media. Recently, a photograph shared online has given hope to all those praying for peace and the end of the chaos. It's a photo of a police officer and protester praying together. The photo shows Officer Garen Hoskins of the Metro Nashville Police Department in Nashville, Tennessee, hugging a masked protester as they pray together. The pro protester and policemen were talking about their shared Christian faith when the officer Hoskins asked the man to join him in prayer. The protester put his sign down and they prayed together. And that picture is now going viral. And it should go viral. And this should be a lesson for all of us that when we reach across whatever we think divides us and say, can we pray together? And in that prayer, you come into heaven. And in heaven, there's no Jew, no Greek, slave, nor free, male or female. We're all one in Christ. It gets rid of all the barriers. So let's pray together and let's do this on a regular basis. We've got a lot of healing to do right now. Mm -hmm. We also have a lot of listening to do. And uh, I'll just underline, we need to listen. Yeah. Uh, there's a reason we're seeing these protests. This isn't something that's being ginned up. This is coming from some horrific events. And we have to listen and say, what can we do as a culture to make sure this never happens again? Yeah. And it takes time. Yes. It takes time. Even though the media is inundated with coverage of all of the violent protests happening, many people are protesting peacefully, and we want to share some of the videos that have been shared online. Here's a compilation of a few from around the country. Take a look. <laughs> see these um, gatherings, these peaceful gatherings, I feel like more than a protest, they are like a declaration of unity, a declaration of wanting something more, something better, wanting something that's going to lead us all into a different future. And we need to do, we, we need to resolve to do that, yeah. that uh, let's not have liberty and justice for all be aspirational, but yeah. let it be real. And how do you get there? Well, we need God yes. to get there. And he's the one who brings peace. Um, these riots aren't going to bring, bring peace. Looting isn't going to bring peace. Um, these things aren't going to do it. But when we come together as one and say we're one body of Christ, and let's pray this thing through, let's listen to one another. And when one of us is hurting, we're all hurting. Uh, when one of us feels disenfranchised, uh, feels demeaned, we all should feel that, and we should feel that together. Mm -hmm. uh, this is definitely a time to heal. This is definitely a time to pray. Well, there is a peaceful demonstration for justice by the faith community set for this Sunday afternoon in Norfolk, Virginia. It is a prayer march being led by a city collective faith-based group. They're asking everyone to wear a mask and to practice distancing, social distancing during the event. But uh, 
These are the kind of events that can make a difference. Yeah, and create your own event. We have a um, something we're asking people to join in on, and that is, can we stand and pray? And let's do this with social isolation. Let's do it uh, in a way that doesn't spread the virus, but let's do it because when we stand and pray, when we stand in our homes, if you stand in your driveway, you stand in your neighborhood, you stand in your community and pray, asking God, please come, please heal our land, please turn us to one another. No more division, no more strife, no more rioting, no more virus. Let us stand together because if we divide, we're going to fall. If we stand and we stand united to say, how can we work through this? How can we come to a place where there's liberty and justice for all? We can do that. Uh, we can envision and we can pray that into being. We can pray heaven's will would be done on earth. So let's do that. If you want to be a part of it, all you have to do is call us, 1-800-700-7000. And we've got a map, and you'll join with uh, thousands of others who have already joined up uh, where you can be a part of Stand and Pray. There's all the different states that are represented with this. Uh, we need, looks like we need some folks in Nevada, but call us and, and say, yes, I want to be a part of this. I want to stand and pray for the nation. I want to stand and pray for my home. I want to stand for my city. I want to stand for my neighborhood. When we come together and pray, wonderful things can happen. Hello, I'm Gordon Robertson. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more encouraging videos like this one. Welcome to the 700 Club Interactive Family, and God bless you.